In this video, we want to look at how to validate the data in the rapid implementations spreadsheet. So first, we've, in the previous videos, we've completed our spreadsheet. We've entered the data in our chart of account structure, our calendar and our ledger details. We've also specified what the business units will be and we've got the segments. So for example, for our company segment, we've already got the data. And for natural account segments, we're using the account type and also financial category, mainly used for reporting. Account type, mainly used for setting up of the options for the subledgers. And then we have the financial sequences, which are used internally. So we can set up uh, initial values and also determine when we want it to restart. So these are internal transaction uh, values that are used as sequences for invoices, payments, receivables, and so on. And then we have the other segments, our line of business, which is our secondary uh, segment, secondary balancing segment. And then we have our cost center segment, and we have the product segment which is more or less a spare segment so what we're going to do now is we're going to first of all validate the data in the spreadsheet and clicking on validate and then it's saying that there's no errors found do you want to preview this sample report so click on yes and then you are able to see a sample report of what it looks like um, so that's a preview report you can see a sample infolet and also you can see a sample statement a financial reporting statement sample so that looks good and next thing you can generate zip files which will contain the chat of accounts value so i'm going to click on generate chat of accounts file so I'm going to save my zip file for chat of accounts in the rapid IMPL folder, save. So next I'm going to generate the legal entity and BU file. And I'm going to put that in the same folder as well. So let's save it. So that's basically how to generate the zip files and next we're going to upload the compressed files and then we will then update any anything that we need to update we'll do that in the next video so thanks for watching and see you in the next video